Hello everyone, we will continue the topic TVARVC table and in the previous videos we studied the concept of this table, we studied that we will maintain the data into this table using this transaction code, we took a requirement based upon that requirement, we maintained two variants, one as a part of parameter section one as a part of selection option section and in the last video we studied how we can save the table entries into transport request and if you have multiple clients how you can save the how you can copy the entries from one client to another client now we will proceed with the practical part because ultimately whatever we maintained into this table now we need to write the code based upon that. So what is our requirement? Whenever we will create a sales order, whenever we will change a sales order, we cannot create a sales order more than the quantity which is maintained into this particular table. Only specific users can create a sales order of more than per that particular quantity. Now we cannot hard code while writing the code. We will take the maintained value from this particular table. So what I will do? Firstly, we will go to VA01 transaction code and we will create a sales order. You all know we can create a sales order through VA01 transaction code. See, I am creating a sales order based upon the data present in my system my system data might vary from your system. It means whatever I am passing here, it might not be applicable to you or it might not be maintained in your system. So please check with your functional person. But anyways, there is no need to create a sales order. You can change a sales order also. It's totally your wish. Suppose I am going for order type O. Now I will go for some sold to party. This sold to party might not be applicable to your system. So you can check with your functional person what the sold to party you need to pass. Suppose I am passing some customer reference. Now, suppose I am passing some material. Suppose for this particular material, the order quantity is 1000. So for this particular material, means for headphone, the order quantity is 1000. Suppose I'm going for same to same material. Suppose the order quantity is 200. Now I'm creating a sales order. This is sold to party. This is customer reference. And yes, I'm going for two entries into the sales order. And we are going for 1000 and 200. It means we are going for total order quantity of 1200. Just simply compare. You are ordering suppose 5 items. Suppose you are ordering for soap 1. You are going for shampoo 2. The same thing is there. Yes, we are going for headphone 1000 quantity. We are going for headphone 200 quantity. It means total 1200. Now whenever I will go for save. I will go for save. Now this sales order has been created. System is not stopping as of now. The order quantity is 1200 for this particular order. The full total quantity, the sum of the order quantity is 1200. System is not stopping as of now. Suppose if I'm changing this sales order. Suppose if I will go for display. 1662 sales order number. If I will go for change of the sales order or you can go for VA02 also. Suppose I am going to change. Suppose I am changing the quantity to 500. Now whenever I will go for save. So during change also, I can create a sales order of more than 1000 quantity. Now it is 1500 as of now. So you can see system is not stopping as of now. That's why I am saying if you are unable to create a sales order, no problem. You can change a sales order. You can take any sales order from VBAK table 
and you can learn this particular thing if you want to. Anyways, it will not impact your learning if you are unable to create a sales order into your system. If I will go to VBAK and VBAP table, you all know sales order data stored into VBAK and VBAP table. I will go to the contents of the table. What the sales order created 1662. And you can see we have the header data. Yes, today is 24th. This is the sales order. This is the time. If I will simply scroll down, you will be able to see sold to party. This is the sold to party, which I put. If I will go for items, we maintained two items. If I will go to VBAP table, If I will go for display contents 1662. If I will go to execute, you can see we have two items 1662, two items we put. Yes, this is the material number we put. This is headphone. Yes, if I will check the quantity, if I will go to the right, you will be able to see the quantity. K W M E N G column name is it is 1500. This is what we put. Yes. So header data is in VBAK table. Item data is in VBAP table. Now, what is our requirement? Yes. If some of the order quantity is greater than whatever is maintained into TVARVC table, system should not allow to create a sales order. Now, this is VA01 and this is VA02 transaction force. You all know whenever we want to write the logic into SAP transaction force, we can always write through enhancements and modification. Anyways, I will not cover this topic enhancement and modification. You can simply learn from enhancement and modification playlist. But whatever is required, whatever the knowledge is required at this point of time, I will only cover this particular part. I will go to SC38 transaction code. And many people are aware about this, those who know enhancement and modification topic. We have one of the most important include program MV45 AFZZ for sales order. Here we have the user exits for sales order into this particular program. Now, if I will simply go for this particular include program, in this particular include program, we have a particular user exit. What is the user exit? User exit, save document prepare. But this user exit is this user exit is called before a document is saved. It means whenever we will create a sales order before that itself, we need to check that the order quantity cannot be greater than thousand. It means we will write the logic into this particular user exit. Anyways, I will not explain here why I am using this particular user exit, how I find this particular user exit, how I identified this particular include program, because the detailed explanation around 15, 20 videos of the same is available in enhancement and modification playlist. If you do not have knowledge of user exit topic, you can simply learn from enhancement and modification playlist. As of now, our major motto of the topic is how we can use the TVARVC value while writing the code into this particular user exit. Suppose if I will put a breakpoint here and show you. Yes. Suppose I am creating a sales order. I will again create a sales order. Suppose I am going for order type OR, I am going for sold to buy. I am going for customer reference, I am going for material, 
I'm going for order quantity. Suppose thousand, hundred. I will go for save. Whenever we will go for save that particular user accepted trigger. Now you can see the system stopped here. Now we have a internal table here, XVBAP. Because you put item data, so it is into VBAP. What is XVBAK? What is XVBAP? What is YVBAK? What is YVBAP? It is fully, fully explained into that particular topic of user exit. So you can simply get that detailed knowledge from there. As of now, we will cover only the focus of TVARBC. Suppose if I will check this particular internal table, if I am going through contents of this internal table, this internal table has two records. You can see line item number 1020. This is the material we passed. If I will go for quantity column, we put quantity. If I will go to columns, what is the name of the quantity column? I showed you in VBAP table, K-W-M-E-N-G. You can check. K-W-M-E-N-G. If I will check here, K-W-M-E-N-G. Now, we'll simply, simply see what is the value. You can see what we passed. So what we will do, why I'm explaining in debugging mode? Because debugging will help me to write the logic. We will make a loop on this internal table and we will make some of these quantity. If the quantity, sum of the quantity is greater than whatever we maintained in TVARVC table, we'll simply, simply do the error. This is our full logic. Now, now people will think while creating, you are writing the logic. Is this particular thing is applicable to change also? Yes. Suppose if I'm going to VA02 transaction code, and I'm going for change. Suppose I'm changing the quantity to 200. I'm going for save. Same to same user exit will trigger in change also. Now, if I will go to XVBAP. Now, if I will show you quantity. If I will go to columns. K W M E N G. Now you can see if I will go to apply, sorry, I, I'll simply go to execute. I will not go for saving. You can see we are getting. So it means if it is change or if it is create, I simply, simply make to have to apply a loop on this internal table. I will make some of this. And if the sum of the order quantity is greater than whatever is maintained into TVARVC table, we will simply keep the error. And same with, because this user exit is calling during creation of sales order also, it is calling during change of sales order also. So there is nothing to worry about us. We'll simply write the logic into this particular user exit. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, our major target is to understand in that debugging mode, how, how we can write the code based upon our requirement. So we created the sales order, we changed the sales order. We are able to create a sales order. We are able to change a sales order of any quantity. Now what customer is saying, okay. We cannot create a sales order of more than 1,000 than quantity. We maintained into TVARVC table. It means we need to write the code. Yes, we checked in the, anyways, I, am not ex, I have not explained here how I identified this particular user exit. I just showed you, yes, with the help of documentation, we can simply identify this. But detailed understanding, if you want, you need to go for enhancements and modification playlist. 
Here I am only covering that which is required. And anyways, it will not impact the knowledge of this particular topic. So you can learn this topic independently also by writing the code into this particular user exit. Now we check in the debugging mode. In XVB AP, we are getting the data. Whatever we are putting while creating or changing a sales order, the name of the column is KWMENG. We'll make some, and if it is greater than whatever is maintained in TVARVC table, we'll simply provide the error. Now, in the next video, we'll simply write the logic into this particular user exit and we will see yes how we can use tvarvc table so that's it in this video thank you